Engineering is of vital importance to Merlin Entertainment School, and literally, it's at the heart of everything we do. If you think about the time you spend in a theme park or an attraction, like Sea Life, The London Eye or Shrek's Adventure, there is engineering everywhere. From the very obvious, technically complex and astounding roller coasters or rides, through to the audio-visual effects, all the sound and the light, and even the buildings and facilities, engineering and maintenance is required for all of them. With such variety and complexity, for the entertainment's engineers, it's really important that they have a detailed understanding of basic electrical or mechanical engineering, and they can achieve this through an apprenticeship, vocational or higher level qualification, such as maybe an HNC, an HND, or a BTEC, level four, or maybe even an engineering degree. Our entertainment engineers can then really look forward to a wealth of variety and a truly rewarding job. My job at Merlin compares well with my previous jobs in that it, it, it's technology based and it's man management. But oh my goodness, it's far more diverse. There are so many amazing roller coasters and it's such fun. Really, fun is at the heart of everything we do. And overlay that with the technical and safety aspects and it, it is a fantastically interesting career. People really don't understand the diversity of jobs available in the engineering sector. A lot of people just see that it's car mechanics or technicians um, or fat building contractors and construction workers. That is so not the case. The, the, the breadth and depth of jobs in the engineering industry is simply stunning. There are so many exciting roles. Aviation, working in space shuttles, satellites, roller coasters like we have here at Merlin, all of the visual effects in the entertainment industry needs engineers, all of the rail industry, loads of automobile type facilities, Jaguar Land Rover is a great company um, built here in the UK. There is simply such stunning diversity. And people just don't understand that when they look at engineering as a career. I think they need to do a bit more research and talk to people like me because we'll tell you all about it. So I didn't know I wanted to do engineering um, as a child at school, but I was really good at science subjects, so I wanted to do a science-based degree. And my dad was an HGV, so a lorry mechanic. Um, so engineering was, was a sort of a possibility and a thought for me, but I knew I didn't want to get oily and greasy like Dad did. Um, at a careers fair, I happened to bump into a female engineer. She was in her combat uniform, she worked in the army, and she was stood next to a helicopter. I asked her if she fixed the helicopters. Oh no, she said, I don't fix the helicopters. I manage the team of technicians that fix helicopters. I'm in the helicopter telling them what to do. I thought, that sounds like the job for me.